activities might seem simple, but actually they're made up of lots of different steps. And it's really important to break down the different activities that are involved in something simple like putting on a coat. So the first thing when we put on a coat is that we need to have the idea that we need to wear a coat. So we need to have some understanding about the weather, what the temperature might be. Then we need to be able to orientate the coat to us. So we need to understand where's the top and where's the bottom. We need to grasp it at the top. Then we need to have good balance to be able to stay standing up to do the task. And we need to have good shoulder stability, so strong muscles in our shoulders, to be able to swing it round and put it over our shoulders. Then we need to understand where our body is so we can push our arms into the coat. Once we've done that, we need to use two hands together, so our bilateral skills, to be able to grasp either side of the coat. We need to have effective fine motor skills so we need to form that pincer grip where we bring together our index finger and our thumb. We need to grasp the end of the zip, put them together and then using two hands pull up to fasten the coat. So something as simple as putting on a coat, when you actually break down the steps you realise it's quite a tricky and complex task. Now, for your child, it might be that you need to break down those steps. Perhaps you could do the first part of the task and then just get them to grasp the zip and pull it up towards the end. Or it might be that they can start the task off and you need to finish it off for them. Gradually, over time, you could take the steps back so that the child is doing more of the task and you are doing less. You might want to practice different elements of the task to make it a little bit easier. But the most important thing is to look at the task as a whole, to break down the steps and to work out how best you can support your child to be able to do that task in its entirety.